In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to our video version of worship for this Remembrance Sunday. And today, along with many people around the world, we are remembering those who have been caught up in war, those who have died in war, those who have given their lives in that way, and the tragedy of war, and we pray for peace. We're going to begin uh, by coming before God, seeking God's healing and forgiveness. God calls us to follow in the footsteps of Jesus in caring for others and spreading the good news of the kingdom. Assured of our forgiveness, let us confess the times we have failed in our mission. For times when our words or deeds have injured others. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For times when our words or deeds have not reflected your love. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. For times when our words or deeds have not been guided by prayer. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our prayer for today, let us pray. God, our refuge and strength, bring near the day when wars shall cease, and poverty and pain shall end that earth may know the peace of heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now over to Sijin, who is going to read to us from the Gospel of Mark. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. After John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, and saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the net. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. So today is Remembrance Sunday. I'm stood here in front of the Team Val Memorial, which is um, uh, something that when we have visitors in church, they always like to have a look around. Pe new people, people from all over the world come into our church to have a look around. And, uh, and people from Salford like to come in and look at, particularly at the war memorials. And uh, this one is a stark reminder of the grim realities of war because this Teepval Memorial has something like 400 names on it and all of these men died on the 1st of July 1916 on the first day of the Battle of the Somme and most of them would have been dead by 8 o'clock in the morning after they went over the top first thing and it's like I said it's a grim reminder of the stark realities of war. But the war started in 1914 and in 1914 the British Army did not was not big. The British Army was quite small, there was um, uh, probably the Navy was bigger but the Army was quite small and there was a big recruitment drive and Lord Kitchener of course got the thing going with those famous posters, your country needs you. Um, and lots of people were being recruited. In Salford, 
uh, the recruiting stations, the, the places where recruitment was happening, was Salford Lads Club was taken over by the army uh, as a recruitment base. And Salford Lads Club is, of course, still there. Adelphi Lads Club was taken over to be used as well, um, which, is, which was off Silk Street, um, not far from St Philip's Church. Uh, Adelphi Lads Club um, is no longer there, but that was one of the bases for recruitment. Hundreds of hundreds of young men recruited through those. And Pendleton Town Hall was lent by the City Council uh, to be used uh, for recruitment as well. Pendleton Town Hall um, is still there, um, but facing uh, Pendleton Church. Uh, it's not a town hall anymore. Um, and those were the three main recruitment centres. And they, would, they were often re recruiting 200 people a day to join the army. But of course, if you signed up at one of these places to join the army, you would uh, risk being sent anywhere, really. And you would be with people that you didn't know, um, uh, in some other part of the country, maybe, and then sent to France from there. Um, and Lord Derby in Liverpool had a bright idea. Lord Derby decided that what we could do is we could recruit pals battalions, people who would sign up together with their friends. They could, to quote him, serve with their friends and not be put in a battalion with unknown men as their companions. And so he started this, he publicised this in the Liverpool press, and the Liverpool Pals battalions were the first. And of course Manchester, who were great rivals of Liverpool back in the day, uh, Liverpool and, uh, I mean, Liverpool and Manchester are still rivals in many ways, but I think we won that rivalry. Um, but, uh, but in those days, Liverpool was a very significant city as well. And um, obviously, if any of you are Liverpoolian, it is still very significant, but it's just that it's a bit smaller than Manchester these days. But anyway, um, those Powell's battalions were taking off in Liverpool and in Manchester. And of course, Salford wanted to catch up on the action. And so Salford then initiated Powell's battalions that would join the Lancashire Fusiliers and would boost the numbers in the Lancashire Fusiliers. So the Lan Salford Pals battalions of the Lancashire Fusiliers were formed and hundreds of men were recruited. Um, they were doing recruitment in places like um, uh, theatres. Um, there were lots of theatres in Salford in those days, but they would also go to workplaces and, and stand at the gates as the men came out and do a recruitment drive. And they'd put pressure on people to sign up. But part of the pressure was sign up with your mates and you can serve your king and country, uh, but together with your mates. And so the Salford Powell's battalions were formed and, and a lot of men signed, did sign up. And some of them came back and sadly many of them never came back. Today, on Remembrance Sunday, we are remembering those who did sign up. But we're doing so in the context of uh, in church, we, we hear our Bible readings, we say our prayers, we sing our hymns, and we are aware that as Christians, we have a calling. The calling back in, in 1914 to the people of Salford, to the men of Salford, it was just men in those days, the calling to the men of Salford was, serve your king and country in the army, join the army and fight back against the all sorts of rude words about the Germans who, yeah, who, were, who, who politically were not a good thing. Um, but then probably neither were we in those days. So, uh, the call was to serve, and I think here is an illustration that ties in really with our gospel reading for today, which Sijin has just read to us. Because here is Jesus talking to his disciples who lived in, a f in fractious times. It wasn't an easy time. It was a time of the Pax Romana. They were part of the Roman Empire. But it wasn't easy to be part of the Roman Empire uh, in those days. Um, and... 
Jesus speaks to them and calls them to be fishers of people, to recruit people, to go out like those army recruiters did in 1914 and call people to arms. Well, in our case, in, in the case Jesus' case, he's not calling people to arms, but he's calling people to action. And he's calling people to call people to action. And we live in fractious, difficult times. The, the election result in, in the United States yesterday has troubled me a lot. And I know some people, some people um, do, do some, are Trump supporters. And, and, and maybe he's not as bad as people like me fear. But I do have a lot of fear that, that the world is a little bit less safe, really, now. Um, and it was already looking pretty dodgy with the wars that we've got going on, uh, with the threats that one nation makes against another, um, and the threats of retaliation, and the, the military exercises that happen um, and the civil wars that are happening, there is a lot to worry about. We live in turbulent times. And Jesus still calls us, and calls us to action, and calls us to call others to action. And what does that mean? We, your country needs you, is what Kitchener was saying. God's kingdom needs you might be what Jesus says to us. God's kingdom needs you. You are needed and your actions are needed to make this world a better place, to make this world a safer place, to make this world a more loving place, to make this world a place where people can know forgiveness and healing and can live in harmony with one another. That is our calling as Christians. And in our remembrance service, we have a prayer of commitment that we are called to make. And I would love to suggest that you might join in with this prayer now. Let us pray. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humanity in the cause of peace for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful, now and always. Amen. And so now Greg is going to lead us in our prayer. God has promised to hear us when we pray in faith, so let us give thanks for that blessing among many and pray for all in need. We give thanks for all who are called to spread the good news of the kingdom and pray that we may have courage and confidence to join that mission. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We give thanks for those who are called to bring peace and justice to this world as we pray for national governments and international organisations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We give thanks for those who are called to help others, for all healthcare workers and those in the emergency services, and we pray for the people they help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We give thanks for members of the armed forces in conflict situations and peacekeeping missions and we pray for their families and loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. As we remember the fallen, we commend to God all those who have been called to the eternal kingdom where peace will be restored. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers, prayers for the sake, the sake of, your, of your Son, our, our Saviour, Saviour Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So we're coming to the end of this video service for today. Um, if you are local and if you are free tonight, if you're watching this on Sunday, um, it's our Dream Space Creative Evening tonight. Uh, we'll be carrying on a remembrance theme. Um, it's an evening of spoken word and song, and it's really good. Um, and it would be a, it'd be lovely to have a few people, a few extra people there. So do come along. Uh, we're going to finish today uh, with David Hillary singing For the Healing of the Nations, a lovely Fred Kahn song that kind of, uh, yeah, is a prayer for us to help be part of making the world the place that it should be. That uh, we, we, it's a prayer that the world would be a place where we can all live in harmony um, and justice and peace. So, for the healing of the nations. But before that, a prayer of blessing. So, let us pray. God is our strength and refuge, our help in times of trouble. May we go out into this world remembering that we are not alone and live as faithful followers of the Prince of Peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Since